Robinson, I'm fucking out with you. Okay, um, this is also from uh, Ale Cellar, uh, the Scottish company that I'm using now. And it's uh, one that I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, it's an elderberry black ale, and it's called Ebulum. Really, really nice label on that. Uh, 6.5%, I believe that is. Let's give you some info on it. Okay. Right, let me just double check. Oh, lovely. Look at that. See, because I bought a few bargain ones from them, and they've all, they were all slightly out of date, you know, they, which didn't affect the flavours. Except for one. Um, I might release the review on that. I don't know yet. I'll wait until I contact the brewery. But, yeah, this one's August 2012. So... Lovely stuff. Let's give, let's give you some info on this. Um, Ebulum is an elderberry black ale introduced to Scotland by Welsh Druids in the 9th century. Elderberry ale was part of the Celtic Autumn Festivals where the ale was passed around the people of the village. This recipe was taken from a 16th century record of domestic drinking in the Scottish Highlands. In medieval times, elderberries were used for many purposes and are known to be high in fruit oils. It is a rich black ale with fruit aroma, soft texture, roasted grain, and pork character with a gentle finish. Ingredients are malted barley beer, uh, elderberries, roasted oats, and barley and hops, and also bog myrtle. <laughs> I think, um, who else was that? Albano, Albano Rhino done a scotch ale recently with bog myrtle in it. He was trying to work out what it was. Anyway, uh, the website... It's, it's actually done by Williams Brothers. I didn't know that. Um, it's brewed and bottled by Heather Ale Limited, a Williams Brother Brewing Company based in Alloa. Uh, the website is www.heatherale.co.uk. So, really excited. 6.5% brewed with natural flavours, and it's uh, an old style recipe. So, awesome. Do you ever get, this is totally off, off, you know, off subject, but do you ever sometimes get a bit of deja vu when you look at something or a bit of writing or, or a picture and you think, hang on a minute, I've seen this before somewhere or I've been in this situation before. I just got that when I was reading the description on this. It was really strange. Um, it's past now. The brain's, a, the brain's a very strange thing. Right. Let's get this in a glass. Uh, looking lovely. Lovely colour, um, nice tanned head, lovely sort of dark scotch ale, deep, deep brown, almost black. Right, let's get a nose on it. Lovely, oh, really nice. I'll tell you what, I was expecting it to be a lot more fruitier, but you do get the slight fruits, but I'm getting a nice little bit of licorice as well. Uh, a little bit of roasting. I'm getting um, like a, a a really really sort of dark frothy chocolate. Um, oh, it's hard to describe. Um, almost like the foam you'd get on a on a coffee because you know in the in my past I don't like coffee, but where um. Lou or one of my mates have tried to get me to try different ones. Like they'll say, I'll oh, try this one, it's a lot sweeter. Um, you'll always get this, the foamy smell, which is like a nice sort of sweet coffee smell. Um, and I'm getting that with this as well. But it's got some really nice smells coming from this. Um, cheers. That is lovely. Oh, it's funny that I should put it in the Ola Dub glass because that's the sort of taste I'm getting with it. Oh, it's lovely. Um, nice sort of tingly carbonation, which just tickles your tongue. 
you're getting these lovely juicy dark fruits uh, combined with this really lovely and smooth roasting just you know coating your tongue combined with the dark fruits like a like this just blanket of loveliness uh, it's sort of like a medium body um, I thought it was going to be a lot lighter but it's got a nice medium body to it I'll tell you what that tastes like a rock fault a rush fault the more I'm, I'm sipping at it maybe like an 8 not a 6 not, it's not as weak as a 6 maybe like an 8 a Rocheville 8, not as heavy as a 10, but that lovely sort of dark Trappist um, flavour. Oh, this is this is gorgeous stuff. Um, I don't know if it's bottle conditioned, I don't care, because it's all going in there. Um, and this is brewed to an ancient recipe. Lovely stuff, it only comes in a little bottle, but it's... Um, it's a pretty hefty ABV, 6.5%. I know that's not a lot to some of the American guys out there. But, you know, when you've got beautiful flavours like this, oh, it's enough, because you can just sit there and sip it. So lovely, really nice and creamy as well. No bitterness whatsoever. Just nice fruits, nice roasting. It's gorgeous, it's really, really good. Um, that's gonna get a nine and a half out of 10. I would have given it a 10 if it had a slightly longer aftertaste. Um, the aftertaste is pretty quick, but you know, it makes you wanna go back in again and try more. It's, oh, it's lovely, really nice. Gorgeous. So, Get on the website. I recommend that one highly. Um, Ebulum Elderberry Black Ale. I'll put a description. I'll put a link in there for the for the store that sells it. And um, yeah, give it a go. I'd love to see someone else review this. Thanks again for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers.